It may not be the Alaskan state flower, but I bet you more Alaskans are going to be able to identify fireweed than the alpine forget-me-not, the real Alaskan state flower. In Alaska, you're going to find fireweed used in a whole bunch of different products, like these. This pretty pink flower is found actually all across the northern hemisphere now. In Russia, you're going to find the tea is called Ivan Chai. And over here in the UK, it's usually called Rose Bay Willow Herb. Now it can reach all this distance because fireweed has some seriously aerodynamic seeds. The seeds were studied back in 1992 and found to travel as much as 186 miles. Yeah. We're in Juneau. There's float planes and helicopters and boats galore here. They're everywhere. Fireweed tea can help with the more prominent digestive problems like diarrhea, intestinal and stomach inflammation, and being a mild laxative, fireweed can also help with constipation. Fireweed tea also helps more specific problems like acid reflux, gastritis, colitis, and gastric ulcers. And this is actually fireweed's biggest selling point. It's actually exceptionally good at balancing gut health. Hello. How are you doing, Daisy? You having a good day? Also being a soothing agent. Hmm. You'll find fireweed tea helpful for sore throats, laryngitis, and lung congestion. And its antispasmodic properties help with asthma and coughs. Fireweed not only balances your gut health, it can also help balance your moods and nervous system as well. This helps it to prevent anxiety, depression, and fatigue. And even helps with those headache and migraine pains. You might even see some benefits for things like memory, concentration, cognitive impairment, and dementia. From the top, Hero of Men. Older men will be happy to hear how fireweed tea has been listed in the European Pharmacopoeia as a great treatment for prostate problems. It's even known to help with BPH. There's even a rumor it can improve potency, if you know what I mean. My eyebrows aren't working. And it's even great for the urinary tract, which is also helpful for women. Men and women. Both. Fireweed has also received some notoriety for treating a variety of fungus and yeast problems, especially candida. Now there isn't a ton of research on this yet, but this super balancing herb has been shown to help with thyroid, metabolism, and overall synthesis of your hormones. Which sounds really weird, doesn't it? Luckily there have been studies on fireweed tea showing how it can prevent tumors. Apparently it's better at dealing with... <laughs> Apparently it's better at dealing with solid... <laughs> Apparently it's better at dealing with solid tumors than the liquidy ones. Mm. Many people will create decoctions from fireweed tea to be used for various skin problems. It's even used for irritated wounds, protecting wounds, and healing wounds that are really stubborn and won't go away for a long time. While there isn't a ton of research on fireweed directly, there is some on its component parts. There is tons of evidence of its usage over the years, which is backed by medical and herbal professionals. So it could very well help you with these problems that are listed as well. Boom! Let's do a tea. Let's pop this tea out. Oh, that was really stupid. But I pulled the tea strainer out and I didn't bother to let it finish straining first. Don't do that. It's bad. Now my floor is wet. So this here is a fireweed tea. It's done just with fireweed leaves, and it's done in a style that's similar to the Ivan Chai, the Russian tea. So done by Harbor Tea and Spice. They said to just, uh, brew this one for three to five minutes, and usually use like a, a teaspoon or two teaspoons, depending on how strong you want it, to a cup of water. If you want to get all the medicinal benefits and you uh, like it a little stronger, you can go up to 10 to 20 minutes on the brewing time for this. But this is my first time trying it, so let's see what we get. It's nothing special by itself. <laughs> really kind of bland. There's not that much taste to it. Uh, maybe if I let it steep a bit longer and don't let the water spill everywhere, uh, then maybe it would uh, be a little bit better. But as it is, meh, there it is. Thanks anyway to Harbor Tea and Spice for getting me this fireweed tea. Otherwise, I wouldn't have any. I'm going to clean up my floor. Luckily, there aren't that many side effects at all unless you have too much fireweed tea, which means you can have nausea or other digestive issues ensue. In particular, they say don't have it during pregnancy because of the nausea and digestive issues. So long as you're having the typical three cups or less per day, you're good to go. You want something else awesome? That's right there, I think. Because of the nausea and digestive issues. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say for now.